item breaks, it's as good as a sale. So if instead of closing at 6 p.m., Emily extended her hours to be open straight through the night, her chances of inebriated customers generating new sales would greatly increase. The plan? Attract late night drunks by staying open 24 hours a day. Well, possibly, I guess, yeah. I mean, I would, I guess so, yeah. I mean, the way I see it, mm -hmm. if you get the right drunk in here, yeah. you could make more in a single night than you do all month. I just wouldn't prefer a broken item. I'd rather sell a good one, but yeah. I mean, it would be the same thing no matter what happened, so. I mean, a lot of this stuff is probably the only way you're gonna get anything for it is if someone breaks it. Well, some of the items, but yeah. yeah, yeah. Emily agreed to try out my idea to see if it got the results I had promised. I explained to him that the cameras were there for a documentary about nightlife in Long Beach. But in reality, my only goal was to get him inside the antique shop. There was just one more step I had to take to get him ready. There's this uh, costume party in the area. That... A costume party? Yeah. Let's go. You want to go? Yeah. Safety is always my number one priority, so I came up with the idea of a costume party as a way to get JJ into a padded outfit that would protect him against any antiques he might shatter once he stumbled into Emily's store. Cool. Uh, oh, sh And with that, we headed out to my made-up party. I just hoped I could convince him to make a stop along the way. Oh, sweet, look. Open 24 hours. What is it? It's like some sort of store, but look. Free, free pizza. Do you see it? It's right back there. It's right there at the back, like a heat lamp. Let's go. Are All you right. coming with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you okay, man? I'm all right right now. All right. You better be careful. It's all right. Watch your back. There's no way. I can't even fit through that. It's too tight. Well, what do you, I mean, do you want the pizza or, or what? I've got a wedge here. You broke this stuff. Right, I see that. That's why I'm like, eh, I don't really want to break it anymore because it's super expensive. You have it, you break it, you buy it, Paul. Yeah. The plan was a success. JJ had destroyed a large selection of antiques. But once he freed himself from the aisle, all Emily had to do was catalog the broken items. You're pretty clumsy, huh? 